Hey, Kim. Hi, Connie. I'm here with Lucky Star to get a taste of your home. Of course. Welcome to my home. Thank you. Oh, it's gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you. Miss Connie, how do you start your day? I start my day by going on my knees and getting into prayer. I love that. Okay, coffee. Are you a coffee person? Nope. I'm no coffee? A, I'm not a coffee person. It makes me nauseous. It gives me heart palpitations. So I stay away from coffee. Respect. That makes one of us. Okay. <laughs> you are one of South Africa's most iconic actresses. What has been your favorite role? My favorite role? Um, that's a tricky one because I've honestly enjoyed all the roles I've played. But if I were to pick one, I would go with Aus Mavis from Rockville simply because she was a woman of God who feared God, who loved her children and would do anything for them. Mm, I think South Africa would agree. And now, maybe your most challenging role. My most challenging role? Hmm. Okay. Um, for that one, I think I'll have to go with Garabo. I played her for years, um, went through different emotions with her, but I think where it became most challenging was when she lost her baby because I had gone through the same experience and I felt like we were grieving at the same time. So I had to dig quite deep for that one. Okay, now the biggest movie production house in the world reaches out to give you your dream role. What's the dream role? <laughs> the dream role would be an action flick, okay? I feel like I've never really kicked butt in a movie. I tried a little bit as the queen, um, on the queen. But yeah, something that's just action driven. That's what I'd like to do. Girl, we've seen you in the gym. You are ready for that role. <laughs> okay, ready to go up? Yep. All right, so I was just going to stretch a little bit, join me. Oh, I would love to. Now this is a setup. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, favorite workout routine? Um, oh, I like different things, but I think at my age, I'm 54 now. Girl, um, it um, never looked so good. <laughs> I'm a lot more into weightlifting. Mm. Um, I do do a bit of cardio. I mean, this is my favorite machine to use. Yeah, so a little bit of everything. Stunning. And what keeps you motivated? You know, because I've been doing this for so long, I think mm. what I trained myself to do is to really just be consistent. Mm. So I think I'm at a point where I actually don't need motivation. Mm, I love that. And then what is your go-to comfort food on that cheat day? What are you eating? <laughs> it's not even a cheat day food. It's just something that I really like. Um, I'm obsessed with brown bread, butter, and peanut butter Ooh. in that order. Butter, peanut butter with Milo. That, that's like my, my, my comfort, comfort, comfort food anytime. I love that. And then how do you balance personal life and boss babe career life? Balance is something that you just work on, mm. hey? Um, and I don't think there's really a formula for that. I think you need to figure out your life, figure out the priorities, what's more important in your life, mm. and plan your, your life according to that. Just make time for everything that you love and things will fall into place. If you could sit with a younger Connie, what is the advice you would give her? Be patient with yourself. Um, I think, you know, the biggest problem with a younger self is you have all these big dreams and yes they can be exciting but they can also be very intimidating mm. so know that you you're walking your own journey you're running your own race um, stay the course stay in your lane don't be disturbed by, by what somebody else is doing and just know that you will get there mm. and what is the best piece of life advice you've ever received it has to be from my parents, really. Um, it was, it had to do a lot with confidence mm. because I think when I was younger, I was lacking in that department and which is what I've just said now that you need to focus on your journey and your race. Mm. Um, so I think the biggest life lesson that I received from my parents was that I was smart. Um, I was always good enough. Mm. Even when I got it wrong, um, just the faith they had in me, I think taught me to believe in myself. Mm. I couldn't agree more. I know you're all about fueling the body in a healthy, clean way. Let's go to the kitchen and make some food. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Now, I know you're a classic bread and butter bae, but today <laughs> I brought a celebrity chef, Chef Aya, into okay. your kitchen. Oh, wow. We are going to go in your fridge, 
find some healthy, delicious ingredients to cook with, and we're going to mix it with a little bit of Lucky Star Magic. Okay, Chef I Aya, it. Hello. the queen, the actual <laughs> queen. How are you? Welcome to my cooking. Ah, love it, love it, love it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, bowing is appropriate. You are. I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I can't wait to do some better with you in the kitchen. Yes. Okay, I'm waiting, can't wait. And also surprise me with your pantry or your fridge, whatever is in there. We want to make magic. Okay. Awesome. Do, do, you okay. Wanna, do you wanna see? Obviously, to the fridge. fridge. Vegetables. Naturally. Yes. Help me out. Let's just pick whatever random stuff that you think you might enjoy and then we're just gonna live up a store. Okay. Um, okay, let's see. Peppers and, tomatoes. Pe peppers and yeah. tomatoes you've got. Alright. Okay. And then get Anything some else? jalapenos because we need some, a bit of heat. Mm. Oh, okay. Love some yes. Cheese. Yes, love right. chili. Love chili. And then let's see what else is there. The um, onions, you have. Ah, oh, this apple. We can't miss apple. Like, you want apple? We need something smooth and creamy. Okay. Awesome. Mm. And then, yeah, uh, this uh, is all. Is it it? Hopefully, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, let's do tacos. But the healthy version of them. Okay, what? So there, you've got everything you need. Um, and then, do you have uh, maybe a coriander and the lettuce? I've I see there's a got lettuce. lettuce. There's I don't think I have coriander. There. And then there is coriander here also. Oh, there you go at the back there. Okay. Perfect. Stunning. Great stuff. Also, Kim. This is perfection. <laughs> I love that we're showing everybody at home that you can just go into your fridge, mix it with a little bit of Lucky Star, and yes. make something delicious. That's right. I'm going to leave you in the very capable hands of Chef Aya. Take care of the queen. I shall do that. And I'll be Thank back you later. very much. I'm, I'm hoping to learn a few tricks today. So. And I hope you don't cut yourself in my presence. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope not. <laughs> so we're going to do tacos. We okay. just came out of the gym, we want something very light, but something with protein as well. Yes. And we're going to be using our killer teeth. So we are using... Oh! Original. <laughs> Your favorite. Oh, it's got chili. Definitely my exactly. favorite. Yeah. And then, but the one thing first I want you to do, I, want you, I don't want you to burn yourself or make your attire dirty. I have this beautiful, beautiful apron for oh, you. Oh, lovely. Thank you. From us to you. Yay. Okay. <laughs> Enjoy. All right. Let, let me Give look me like a chef. Food. Like I know what I'm doing here, right? so good on you. Thank you. The red, the blue, and I love this kitchen. It goes well with everything. Thank you. All right, so the one thing you're going to do for me, I want you to cut the tomatoes for me in any shape that you want to cut them. Okay, can, I, can I cube them? Yeah, you can cube them. Okay. And I love your bread knife for that. All right. And then secondly, you're then going to start picking the coriander for me. And okay. then while you're doing that, I will start cooking the big pots. Okay. All right. So tell me, do you cook at home or you just order in? I do a little bit of both. Um, my sister cooks a lot, so I tend to rely on her more All right. um, on the cooking part. All right. But let me tell you, when I do cook, they always ask me, why don't you cook more often? Uh, it's always <laughs> the case. Yes, you know, but people that can cook well, they never they really They don't like cook. to cook. Yeah. Why is that? You have to beg them or yeah. you have to, you know, find ways of just making them cook for you. Yeah. But that's great. When, who else did you cook apart from today, of course? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's not embarrass me <laughs> to render people, okay? I mean, why not? You're just having a conversation. I mean, after this, they will doubt if you really, really haven't cooked. It well, I mean, look at how I cube, okay? You can tell this is someone that. And I mean, the fact that you still have all those juices together. And then you can just chuck it into the next bowl for me. Into this bowl? That is actually perfect. Of course. Hmm. I cook. Chef Aya was found shaking. <laughs> <laughs> do, do you just want the one tomato? Or yeah, just two, 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 two. two. They should okay. rather be safe. All right. Growing up as a kid, your favorite, favorite childhood, childhood moments, what were they? Um, cooking with my mom right. was, was okay. one, one of them. And I think my, my memories of that was, you know, like when you cook what, what, whatever's left in the pan or in the and pot. And then you get to scrape it off yeah. with your finger. Ah. So you get the first taste. Oh. So that was like one of my favorite things, was to, that to get the first taste. So was that with also like with your, um, when you're baking scones or muffins? Because that for me was like the best. Yes. That was the best. That was the best. And um, my favorite was also when she was making custard. All right. You know, like the crust that's mm, always like left mm, in the pan. Mm. So she used to make it from scratch. Yes. Look like buy oh, from no, the shops. We, we, no, 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 no. We didn't do the, the instant custard, whatever. Ah. Okay. No, no. Are we making popcorn? <laughs> it's it. I mean, I we, we're really, making but, this corn. The, but this is like a fresh version of it. Yes. <laughs> it's actually very easy. And also, if you love being messy in the kitchen, this you'll enjoy too. Mm -hmm. And not only for tacos, this you can also have as a snack on your crackers. Just like that. Oh, so you're frying that? Yeah, you're just frying it. Ideally, you're looking for that nice crispness on it. Just slice for me the red peppers. So okay. that we can get that nice texture, oh, crunchiness, because okay. peppers are going to bring that nice sweetness yes. to the Did dish. Yes, did you take my knife? 
Okay. So I'm going to get you a plate and then we're going to start assembling. This looks okay. awesome already. So you can start with your tomatoes. You can lay an onion on top. Toma uh, lay to tomatoes, your salad, yeah. yes. Okay. Just sprinkle like you sprinkle salt, like salt bay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then you can follow up with some onions. So I've got some for you this side. Okay. There we go. Thank you. So also, I want you to squeeze some lemon in there. Okay. Um, usually I do it that way so you can also carry the pits. Okay. So you, you squeeze it so onto you squeeze your it hand way, yeah. and then... Okay. But and then you're going to open the lines of oh. your fingers ties like slightly. Oh, did I say fenyan? You see? I see. There you go. Hey, learned a new trick today. Okay, there we go. And hey. maybe a bit of smoked paprika to make it look nice. You know, how about a mic? This is it, To go is to see. Listen. And then just a bit of that. Okay. And then we taste, taste, test. Okay, sorry, so what's your taste? <laughs> <laughs> Say this. Hello, yeah. you're back. You Ooh. are here. He said just chuck. So taste, taste. Oh my gosh. So okay. how, where, where, where do I even forks. start? Oh, are we using forks? That Luke, you don't have to use forks. I, I thought Maybe. this was like a sandwich. Because you can use your hand. Yeah. You made this from Let's your taste. fridge. Yes. And lucky star. And lucky star. There you go. In like what? This is like 15 minutes? Chop, chop. Uh, look, look. It won't Not even, even take eh? much of your time. You can actually have it that way with your hands or you can spread it around. Oh, okay. We're spreading this. And oh, then you I have it. Was, okay. And then you have it. I was looking to see what's going to happen. But, you have, but don't forget to grab the fish as well when you're tasting it. So yes. everything including the fish because that's the queen. That's what we want to taste the most. Okay. Mm. You ready? Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> it's fresh, mm. it's healthy, mm. it's creamy. Oh, it tastes like home. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is amazing. Now, Aya, you killed it. So, how come I didn't know how to do this before? Because you needed me to visit the kitchen first. I did. Exactly. <laughs> I did. I needed a taste of home. It's so good. And also, you can make that into a wrap. This is so good. Mm. I can imagine this in a wrap. Mm -hmm. mm. Or into like a cold salad mm. mixture with mm. more cheese. You know that salad you used to grow up eating with cheese mm -hmm. and other Everything. stuff, mayonnaise? Mm. You can also use that now. Mm. Well done, Sis Connie. Mm. I'm proud of you. Mm. This is you really good. good. I'm, actually, I'm gonna go for more. I'm you this is really, meal. really good. Chef Aya, thank you for joining us. Do you like us. it? It is so good. So out of 10, how do you rate me? This is up. How, how do you rate my cooking? I rate you like a solid 11. <laughs> <laughs> solid 11 for the queen. Thank you, babe. Thank you for having us in your home. Oh, thank You're you. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you for Should visiting. You and thank it. you for the recipe. You're welcome. Now I You're know welcome. what to do with my life. <laughs> and there's more recipes coming your way. Mm. You must be on the lookout. Mm. Perfect. All right. Mm. That was the taste of all. Thank you for watching. We yeah. out.